Let's uh, now let's get let's talk about um, another topic that's really big right now. I already started talking about Comcast and NBC Universal, and now everyone's all outraged when they find out who produces this movie. Uh, meanwhile, you know how many movies a, a year does NBC Universal make? How many television shows do you watch and consume? How many episodes of The Office have you seen? <laughs> so, you know, let's. I, I I appreciate the outrage, but you know, if we're going to you know be focused and boycott, then we have to be strategic and boycott everything. We can't just focus on one movie and one black director. Because at the end of the day, I remember when I had Kevin Avery on the show and I was talking about slave movies and my disdain for them and him as an actor, as a comedian, as an Emmy Award winning writer, he writes on uh, Last Week Tonight with uh, John Oliver. Yeah, he, he was saying, well, you know, I mean, they are actors and you know, part of the gig is to get a, you know, get a job, a good paying job and pay for that. So, you know, I'm, I'm not excusing it, but I, I also see, I see both sides of it because if that's the kind of artwork that exists for you to be able to do what you want to do in your chosen field, then, and you don't have the resources and infrastructure to make something else yourself, then, you know, what else are you, what else should you be acting in? Now that leads me to our next topic. Um, and that has to do with, uh, NBC universal, Comcast and uh, Byron Allen. So as uh, everyone knows, uh, Byron Allen is actually this morning, Byron Allen was at on the steps of the Supreme Court. Uh, he had about a 20 minute press conference. I'll be able to post that uh, a little later on. And there was uh, there were protests out there. Lots of people, of course, a lot of black people um, out protesting uh, and calling for the breakup of Comcast, as did uh, Illinois Congressman Bobby Rush last week, who said, uh, in light of, of, of this case, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but uh, you know, said that Comcast should be broken up. Now, you know, all of this stuff is, is interesting to me because you know history has a way of repeating itself, but it also leaves records and receipts. So, you know, when I, when you do a search for Bobby Rush Comcast, and you, you, I was looking for the actual letter that he wrote to Comcast, could not find it, but I did find back in 2010 when Comcast was uh, wanting to uh, create, uh, create their merger. And uh, he, you know, they were before the House Committee and Bobby Rush was, was a member there. And ultimately that was approved, just like the 94, <laughs> follow me, just like the 94 crime bill that uh, Bobby Rush out of Illinois voted for, which he has since um, apologized for. So uh, I give him credit because when he makes a mistake in office, at least two that I'm aware of, uh, he acknowledges them. Now, it might come 20 years later, but I don't know what that says uh, for how long our officials are elected and allowed to stay in office to make these decisions for us. Uh, but but I think it's important and it's great that he is championing this legislation. He's also um, championing the uh, Emmett Till anti-lynching uh, legislation making that a, a federal crime. So uh, I'm, I'm in support of uh, Bobby Rush and his points, uh, at least right now. So uh, yeah, this morning, uh, it, it appeared that the Supreme Court may have been um, pretty uh, sympathetic to Byron Allen's case and um, in, in support of the, and, and perhaps not in support of Comcast appeal. However, uh, you know, with those conservative justices, uh, who will know? And it'll be until June before they uh, have to make the decision. So uh, we're going to be in kind of a hurry up and wait mode. But you know, the more pressure that people can in, God, intend to put on or continue to put on, I should say, uh, you know, this this should really this should really help. You know, I, it, it's it's hard to capsulize or capsulate or encapsulate. What am I trying to say? It's hard to. <laughs> articulate exactly what uh, Byron Allen is fighting for here, you know, the, the Civil Rights Act of 1866. Uh, so I, I, this initial video from back in October from uh, Color of Change, I think explains it pretty well. So I wanted to play this for you and then um, give you a, kind of a few more thoughts on uh, Comcast and, and, and Byron Allen. 
Here's what I know. Comcast has appealed the Ninth Circuit Court's decision to hear a racial discrimination case brought by Byron Allen. Byron Allen is the black owner of Entertainment Studios. Byron is suing Comcast because Comcast refuses to do business with him as a black man. Byron used the 1866 Civil Rights Act. The 1866 Civil Rights Act forced white people who refused to do business with black people to do business with black people. Comcast, not wanting this dirty laundry air or his horrible record of not doing business with black people in the courts, has appealed to the Supreme Court. It is asking the Supreme Court to rewrite the 1866 Civil Rights Act to require Byron Allen and all those who come behind him to prove that race was the sole reason they're being denied opportunities that are lavishly afforded to white Americans. As an educator, I fight for black, brown, and poor children to receive the same opportunities as, our, as other white children. Please join me. African Americans built. Man, I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mean, so that, that I think that she explained it pretty well there. Uh, what we're looking at and why it's so important. Uh, you know, he he has claimed that Comcast refuses do, to do business with him because he is black. He has noted. Other major companies, I believe AT&T, Verizon, the, your, your other usual suspects in that space, uh, do carry his program. He owns Comedy.TV, The Weather Channel, uh, Justice Central TV, and I believe a couple more. So, and his point is, you know, if I can't get on Comcast, one of the largest um, entities, cable entities out there, then how am I supposed to grow my business? And they, they have a pattern of doing this. So, to Rhonda's Brown point, they certainly do not want their dirty laundry aired and to show how little uh, time and investment they've made in black owned content or black owned and produced content. Cause that's, you know, there's one thing to employ black people, but to actually let black people be the decision makers and put their content out uh, is extremely, is what we're talking about here. And, and that's what he's uh, claiming he's being denied access to and it uh, is based on race. So we will see what the, uh, this conservative led Supreme Court uh, has to say about that. But like I said, they, they've, they've left it open. Uh, they, they, there was an earlier ruling in the uh, $20 billion lawsuit that Byron Allen filed against them. So it, 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 it appears likely that that may be set aside and that, in which obviously we don't want that to happen. But uh, so, so stay tuned. There'll, there'll be more information uh, about that case here coming up. Uh, obviously in the next weeks and continue to uh, fight for the movement and protect our rights. And again, it goes to the point of supporting black media, supporting independent media, this legacy journalism, these four or five companies that control all of the media and art we consume. You know, this isn't even a, a private space anymore or not a private space, but a space for folks, uh, for independent content, content creators. You know, back when I started the show in 2016, you know, you didn't have, you know, every news organization, newspaper with a podcast trying to create content, shareable, engaging content, but they got to keep up with the times. And uh, we need to make sure that our voices are in support of people who look and sound like us and have a clear objective with us in mind and that we don't allow these major corporations to set aside things that were already established. I mean, that's an 1866 law. What happened, at, you know, right before that law was passed, okay?